Well, uh, thank you very much, Kieran. Down there in Park for May, we are ready to greet our drivers now for Minimax 950. As you can see, I've beaten to it. Uh, they're not here yet, but they are on their way. There you go. Perfect. Uh, and we can see this one is going to be a nail biter. This one is going to go down to the wire. The championship was so close going into this one. I think two points separated the top three drivers. It's changed slightly now after the points that were allocated at the end of the qualifying heats and, of course, uh, the pre-finals as well. Uh, so uh, that's a big change there. So uh, we wait to see who is going to be starting well. Crucially, Carl Denham starting this one on pole position is going to be doing everything he can to see if he can become a champion on this one. Albert Friend, who starts just behind him as well. Uh, and crucially, as well, the other driver who is trying to get involved in this one is going to be an interesting. But let's firstly, let's start with this man here, Cole Denham, starting on pole for this one. It's been a tough weekend, but have you been doing the maths? What do you think you need to do in this one? Yeah, obviously it's um, been a good weekend so far. Hopefully I can just come out on top and um, end up winning the championship. I just need to stay in the lead and basically beat my contenders. Yeah, it's going to be a tough fight. PFI, it's always difficult to break away, especially in the uh, the smaller categories. So it's all about really slipstream, defence. What's the main tactic for this one? Is it just going to be try and work together with a potential teammate or uh, with anyone who you can? Well, everyone's um, a man for themselves, but uh, if I can, I'll just push away and try and get a gap. Yeah, that's what we need, mate. Best of luck. We'll uh, let you crack on and then get yourself ready uh, for this one. Another driver in contention for this one, of course, will be Albert Friend, who starts just behind him. Uh, Albert, you've, uh, you've got some work ahead of you on this one. You're in a championship battle. Your main contender's right in front of you as well. You Crucially, though, you've got the inside road. That's what you need going into turn one here at PF, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, so the inside row, you should always be into the first corner if you're third, probably into second, so if when I get to second, I'll see what I can do from there. Yeah, again, it's just going to be a long battle. Do you reckon it'll just be a case of maybe working with Cole just to break away a bit and then leave it to the last couple of laps, or is it going to be a fight throughout? I think it's going to be a... A big scrap with like everyone involved. Yeah, yeah, oh, of course, lovely. We'll get you uh, seated and let you crack on as the uh, last few drivers just getting themselves sorted out, ready to get going. This one, of course, Kai Clark just starting just behind on this one. You've got Joshua Griffin, Noah Barham as well, Kai Clark, uh, Tommy Blair Smith, Finley Lines as well. Good uh, start on this one. Uh, but for Jacob Ashcroft, the E plate, the other driver who's involved in the championship, he starts all the way back there. You can see him, the E plate, he's got some serious work ahead of him on this one. Uh, and it's going to be such a challenge. Uh, I want to chat to uh, to this man here, Finley Lines. He's having a good run. Finley, uh, out here, you're feeling primed, ready. You've got a bit of work ahead of you. You ready? Yes. Yeah. What are you going to do? Hopefully, get on the podium. That's the aim. Yeah, that's the aim. Best of luck, mate. I'll let you crack on. Let you focus on that one. Finley Lines there. Got a bit of work ahead of him. So we've got about four or so minutes to go before we get ourselves ready. Is there? There's Cole Denham. Cole, you're not here. You're in pole, mate. Go down there. <laughs> there you go. He's in the wrong spot. Here's uh, a driver I want to chat to. Uh, Ellis Bell, mate, you've had uh, a weekend, haven't you? You've had troubles with uh, Wagon. Uh, what's the case now? Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I mean, we fixed the Wagon. Uh, Hopefully we can go out here and salvage what we can on the points and just get as high as, up, high, as, high up as we can. Yeah, Dad's done a fantastic job all weekend, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's burnt out. Yeah, he's always the best, isn't he? There we go. Yeah. You can't go karting without Dad, can you? No. No, no. exactly. Best of luck, mate, to uh, to Ellis Bell. Enjoy that race. Uh, brilliant stuff for them. We've still got a few minutes. We're, we're head quite far down in the grid on this one because a lot of these drivers here, they have worked so incredibly hard. There you go. Nice little uh, over the hand there. You've got John Richardson getting himself primed and ready for this one. Keep an eye on John. He's been a quick driver all the way throughout this one. Collinson as well. Uh, chat with uh, actually let's chat with Sebastian Lush on this one Sebastian we rarely chat with you over these weekends How, I mean this season's been a challenge for you uh, what do you expect from this race uh, I'm not in contention for the championship so I'm just going to go full send yeah full send yeah. yeah straight down the inside where you can yeah obviously keep those uh, keep those body panels clean yeah we don't want any uh, scrapping too hard yeah 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 good stuff but elbows out 
Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Good lad. Good lad, Sebastian Lou starting this one a little bit further down the order. Uh, Dan Ashton there just having a quick chat with a couple of the drivers and the rest of the field there. We're nearly at the back of the grid on this one. There is plenty of action. Big old grid in this one as well. 26 drivers in this ready to go racing. Uh, but for all of our drivers, it's just a case now of getting it done for the English champion, Jacob Ashcroft, who I might have a quick chat with if we've got time. Jacob, uh, I didn't want to distract you too much, but uh, we'll jump in and have a quick word. Uh, you've got a lot of carts in front of you here. Um, it's not been the best start to the weekend, but the final is where it counts. And uh, for you now, uh, what is the game plan here? Well, I'm just going to try and get as far forward as I can and hopefully try and get on the podium yeah. because of a tough pre-final with a puncher. Yeah, not what you need, is it? But uh, all is sorted now, ready to get going. You know, you've worked really hard all season uh, in the UK and in Europe as well. You've had some brilliant results. Your dad, Barry, has been alongside you all the way. And uh, yeah, for this one, it's a British championship and uh, we'll see how you do. Yeah, I hope I can get as far up as I can, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, brilliant stuff. We'll let you crack on uh, and get yourself focused, ready to go. Whistle blows then, G grid is getting cleared. We're about to get going, ready for Minimax 950. We'll head up to the commentary box. Thank you very much, Anthony. Hold on to your hats, everybody. This has got the potential to be the race of the year. Here is your grid for the Minimax 950 final to decide the British Championship for 2023. Cole Denham, second in the points at the moment, starts on pole position and is joined on the front row by Charlie Wolfitt. His championship rival and championship leader, Albie Friend, he has a lead by one point, starts on the second row of the grid from grid three. Joshua Griffin is alongside him there, fourth on the grid. Kai Clark and Noah Barham, have nothing to lose in this race. They go from row three. Tom Reed and Blair Smith will start in an all strawberry racing row four. Will Green and Finley Line start on row five. Albie Lapper and Oliver Meek go from row number six. Ellis Bell and the English champion Jacob Ashcroft go from row number seven. Isaac Barker and Luca Holmes Balak, who did a lot of overtaking in the pre final, start from row eight. Charlie King and John Richardson start on row nine. Sebastian Lush, we heard from him there on the grid, starts on row 10 alongside Jack Collinson. Daniel Minto and Alex Goodson start from row 11. Rayan Gandor and Harry Freeman start from row 12 and then Findlay Hines and Isabella Stansmore Wilson will form up the 13th and final row. It's a 26 cart field to decide the 2023 Vera Tools British Kart Championship for Minimax 950. Anthony Jordan, I've got the, the tingles, the commentary box tingles. Of like This could be spectacular. You got the heebie-jeebies. I got the heebie-jeebies. You got the heebie-jeebies. I was watching my favourite film last night. Uh, Detective Pikachu. Of course. If you're aware of it. Can you feel it in your jellies? I definitely can. There you go. Definitely this can. Is... Uh, 15 minutes is the order of the day here for this one. And just to reiterate, one point, one single point separates Friend and Denham. If either of those drivers win, win this race, doesn't matter what the other one does, they will be champion. But something tells me that there could be a lot more that happens uh, across the course of this race. Yeah. For Jacob Ashcroft, he cannot allow Friend and Denham to break away. He needs to latch on with them. Let's see what happens. Lights go green. Here we go. Minimax 950, the championship decider, is underway. And once again, it's a great start from that inside row. Denham, Friend and Clark break away from the main pack there. On the outside row, Wolfick, Griffin, Barham get swamped by the pack. Crucially, where is Ashcroft at the start of this one? He needs to make positions thick and fast all the way throughout this one as several carts run wide as they exit the bridge down and towards the hairpin for the first time and again there still changes all the way throughout this mid pack ellis bell getting spat out of the pack there in the mid pack we Luckily, he gets back in, doesn't lose too many positions there. Spin in the mid-pack there, round goes the 136 in the middle of the pack. That's Tom Reed for Strawberry Racing. Thankfully, I think he gets going again, but crucially now at the back of the field, he will not like that whatsoever. And Jacob Ashcroft had a difficult start. He was in the middle of the pack there with John Richardson into Sector 3 for the first time in this one. 
Cole Denham leads this race. The, the 176 of Kai Clark. What a start for Kai Clark from the third row of the grid. He's going to be second at the end of lap one, but Albi Friend is still there. If it was to finish like this, Denham would be British champion by five points. There we go. But like you're saying for Kai Clark, that's that inside row working well for you. Yes, he was just pulled along by, uh, by Friend and Denham who just let him get away. Friend now, you can see him. He's frantically trying to get past Kai Clark, but again, just bring it back. It's a 15 minute race. You've got time. You're still there. Just breathe, get it to the end and think carefully about your choices of overtake. And that goes to all the drivers here as he goes down the inside of Hairpin 2. Nice overtake, well calculated, well timed. Didn't lose much time as well either. Back up into second place for Albert Friend. So that uh, extends Friend's points tally a little bit now. I just want to get the abacus out for uh, for one minute. Go now, on. we, we've talked about the race win. If either of the top two drivers win the race, that's it. It's, it's because of the three point difference between first and second. Doesn't matter what the other driver does. I just want to bring into play, because this is what can happen in this style of race, what if neither of them win? What if they go a little bit further back in, in what could happen in the next 30 minutes? Who could potentially win on tiebreaker? Well, if it went to a tiebreaker, it would definitely go the way of Friend, because Friend has two final wins to one for Denham, and the only way you can get a tie on points is if neither of them win, if yeah. you follow my drift there. So just in case that situation comes up that is a, a change at the lead though for friend gets ahead of denim still very early in this race though denim will have a response you would feel later on oh 100 100 percent. this is going to be a fight all the way to the end like you're saying i was chatting to both of them here he's saying you know do you need to work t together with someone to break away I said mm, maybe uh, i don't know we'll have to see what happens and the same question i asked a friend there and he just said it's going to be a fight all the way to the yep. line and that's exactly what friend is doing right now he has got the lead of this one he is not going to allow denim to break away and crucially that's going to back him up into the likes of kai clark wolfick Green, Griffin, Lapper, Ashcroft, Barham, and Blair Smith as well. Where has uh, Jacob Ashcroft? He's there in eighth place, so he's gained several positions. Yeah. He started this one in 14th place. He's gained several positions. He's now. giving it his all. Now this is a very key lap, I feel, Anthony, for Alby Friends' race. He's got the lead. That's good at the moment, but it's not decided this thing. If he can just start to pull away from Cole Denham, if he can hit the perfect racing lap here. Cut that because down the inside, here comes Cole Denham into hairpin one, retakes the lead of the race and they swap back again. Advantage, Cole Denham. Yeah, exactly that. So now once more, it's just a chopper change. It's just who's going to take it? A fight to the end. Friend again looks to the inside and gets it done through the Fullerton S's. Now he retakes the lead. Now he retakes the lead of the championship as well. It's all the way down to the end. And for Charlie Wolfitt, Kai Clark, Will Green, who are right there, they're thinking, oh, what do we do right now? I mean, we've got our own races. We can go for a race I, I just win. sit there. I, if I'm Kai Clark or Charlie Wolford, I'm thinking about a race victory. I'm just going to sit here and let these two championship protagonists play this out because it's a championship finale. We've seen it at the very top of motorsport. Things can happen. Yes, they can. And uh, you can, all, of course, imagine at these younger ages, they're always thinking, I need to be leading. I need yep. to be leading. So that's where you see the overtake after overtake after overtake. And that's where it just brings the rest of the pack in. And again, we see it now. Denham to the inside and there goes Wolfit to the inside as well and so does Kai Clark. This is bad news for Friend who gets squeezed onto the grass. Will Green goes wheel to wheel with him now but he can't quite hold that position. So now Will Green will have to hold on to that one but for Albert Friend he is down in P4 and he needs to get those positions back now. The head game needs to be so strong for Friend right now. We've got to remember we've still got 10 minutes to go. We've still got the full length of a heat. Uh, from uh, or the, the races early on in the weekend to go here. There's plenty of time for Albi Friend to get back on terms with the three drivers ahead. We know that the Strawberry Racing Machine has the pace. There is the change of the points. As it stands, Denham, back to where we were at the start, would win the championship by five points if the results stayed like this. But Charlie Wolfitt is getting on terms here with Cole Denham. He's not caring about a championship battle. He's got a round of the British Championships to win. Friend down the inside of Kai Clark over the bridge takes third place. Yeah, but again, Kai Clark isn't going to fight back and Friend will just be pleading with Kai Clark here. Say, don't do this. I'm fighting for a championship lead. Don't get involved in it. And again, Friend sticks that cart down the inside and says, no, 
I am holding on to this position, but crucially now, look at the gap that's opened up now for Friend versus Denham. He needs to close that gap up, and crucially there, well, everyone's just trying to get involved here. Will Green back down the inside. Now it's closing everyone back in. Don't get me wrong, Wolf, it's uh, battling away with Griffin. You know, they're closing the points as well. Will Green's looking to gain more. Noah Barr and Blair Smith, they're all in the seeded numbers, and they're all fighting for seeded numbers. But crucially, that championship battle is happening in between theirs as well. What a day Will Green's had. The, the <laughs> start of the day, spinning on the formation laps of the pre-final, was reprieved, and is now fighting for uh, a top five spot in this final. It's got to be a change of tactics now for Denham and, and Wolfit. They have got to work together to break away from Albert Friend. You can see how hard trying to shrimp into the aerodynamic posi position there. There's more carts in that chase group, but they're not as organized at the moment. And this is allowing no. Denham and Wolfit down the road. We always say more wheels work better with each other if they're working together. Yeah. If they're not, they can they really they can drop back so, so quickly. Right now, though, Friend is doing what he needs to do, because if anything, he's broken away a little bit mm. from Kai Clark. Now, that's quite a rare thing to do, but I think that just shows his dedication to try and break away and to try and go for this championship. He's not lost hope. Albert Friend is pushing that wagon as fast as it can go. Look at him tucking in behind that steering wheel and crucially wheel to wheel because that's Jacob Ashcroft I didn't spot that one Jacob Ashcroft is up into P5 he's gained nine positions and he's closed in Jacob Ashcroft he's still a fair few chunk of points behind he really needs uh, Denham and Friend to be out of this race really doesn't he he, he does indeed but you've, you've got to give it to him he's bounced back from that disappointment in the pre-final with that puncture and he's having one of his races of the season into hairpin one they go Albert I'll be friend if he's going to catch the front two, it's got to be a mammoth effort because he's not at the moment getting any help from behind. He hasn't got anyone pushing him along in the slipstream. What is the pace like? Well, at the moment he is closing in, but it's it's hundreds of seconds and he needs tenths. That's a pretty good sector two though from Friend. He took two and a half tenths out of Wolf at last time around. He's definitely not giving this one up as a scrap going on here is the 176 of Kai Clark fighting there with Jacob Ashcroft over fourth place. Six minutes and 40 seconds to go. Here's the 113 of Joshua Griffin down the inside of Will Green. That's for sixth spot. What is the pace like? One minute, 1 1.5 for Denham. One minute, 1 1.4 is back down the inside. Goes the 176 of Kai Clark fighting there for that position. Friend is quicker by about two tenths a lap. But the question is, has he got enough laps remaining to catch up to Wolfert and Denham. 100%. It's less than a second between himself and Wolfert. It's eight tenths of a second, two tenths a lap. He's got six minutes. He's got plenty of time to close that gap. It's just a case of whether or not he can maintain that momentum. There you can see Kai Clark gesturing there to his uh, mechanic at the sidelines there saying, what do you want me to do? What's going on? Where, am I attacking? Am I defending? What do you want me to do? You know, at this point now, it's just a frenzy. What's happening with the points? What do we do? And because there's no, you know, uh, radio communication with the drivers, all hand signals, it, it's, it, if anything, it's just a frenzy. These yeah. drivers just don't know sometimes what to do. Over the line, again, to complete another lap, another two tenths out of the gap gone between Wolford and Friend. He's keeping on that pace, but it's got to be so, so precise. Ashcroft up to fourth place to uh, apply the old motorsportism, if in doubt, flat out, I think, right now for Jacob Ashcroft. Just going to keep pushing. Yeah and uh, try and get back on that podium. That was his aim at the start of this race, five minutes to go. Wolfit doesn't care about the championship battle that he's in the middle of. No. Wolfit wants a championship win. Has Wolfit had a victory in a final nope. this year? Nope. He has not. That's what he's after. He's after first place in a British championship final, and that is what he wants to get. And right now in second place, he's doing just that. He's battling away with Denham. He's not allowing him to break away. Albert, Jacob Ashcroft is right there now in fourth place. He's now hunting down Albert Friend. Now, this could be good yep. if Ashcroft can latch onto the back of Albert Friend. I mean, it's a catch-22 on this one. For Friend, it will help him out because it will push him up. But I don't think that's going to happen because, well, Ashcroft wants to get in front of Friend. He yep. wants to gain many more points than him. He doesn't want him to push him along and help get into that top spot. He needs him to go behind him. It is split second decisions as yeah. well. Does he try and use the pace of friend to, for, to move as a two up on the two ahead? I just have to wait and see the gap last time around. Well, a bit more pace from Denham and Wolf at that time. 
They were slower than Friend, but only by a single tenth this time. And that's another lap ticked on by for Cole Denham, who, if you're just joining us, at the moment, the virtual championship scores in the last race of the season for this Minimax 950 British Championship look like this. Cole Denham, 776. Albie Friend, 771. Ashcroft, 763. And it's 65 points for a race win, 62 for second place and 60 for third. Three and three quarter minutes to go. End of lap number 11. Denham still leads from Woolfit, but that was a big lap. That was a huge lap from Alvi Friend. He's closed in uh, three or four tenths on the lead two, and a Jacob Ashcroft is going with him as well. Now, there is a, uh, a uh, striped red and yellow flag. There's something on the track surface that shouldn't be there, Anthony Jordan, and that's going to make things tricky under the tunnel. Now, is it fluid or is it debris? Oh, down the inside. Wolfit going for the lead of the race. Sorry to cut across you there, Anthony. That's a big one because now... And down the inside again goes Denham, takes, retakes the lead. Albi Friend's oh, in there. Oh. oh, there's a little bit of rubbing between the two of them. Albi Friend goes through to second place. Wolfit down to third, uh, down to fourth place. And now Jacob Ashcroft's getting involved in there. Ashcroft down the inside of Friend and takes second place. Now, this is getting interesting here. First, second, and third in the championship are currently first, second, and third on track. Now, what's going to happen all the way throughout this one? Friend. And Ashcroft now, I think, will just have to work together to close that gap up to Cole Denham. For Ashcroft, it doesn't change a thing. He's still 10 points behind Cole Denham. He needs to win this race, and he needs these two to really disappear down the field. Well, it, it could happen. He's just got to keep that hope. He's got to do everything that he can. This is an individual's championship. I don't think we're going to see any team play today. I hope we don't see any team play today because no. it's been a superb... Uh, you know, advertisement of Minimax 950 racing here in this championship. And we still don't know. Two minutes and one lap of the 2023 Viratools British Kart Championship season. And our championship is still up in the air. Dunham still has that five-point advantage. But here comes Albie Friend has got passed into second place, past Jacob Ashcroft. That will close the gap, but it still won't be enough for Albie Friend. It's still that scenario, Anthony, of whichever Denham and Friend win this race, if it is either of those two drivers, they will win the title. He needs to work together now with Ashcroft, and that is exactly what they're doing at the moment, but not anymore, because down the inside goes Ashcroft, and if anything, he's helping out his teammate Denham here. Maybe Ashcroft knows that there's nothing I can do. Yes, it'll be an absolute win on a prayer here if I can get the uh, championship. It's just not going to happen. So he's going to help out his teammate. And now Friend is going back through. And there's a bit of communication between the two of them now. I uh, couldn't quite see what the gestures were, whether or not it was, uh, what are you doing? There's confirmation. Yeah. What are you doing? So uh, there you go. But he's fighting for his championship. They're all, they all are. They want to gain as many positions as they can, but you need to work together. There's less than a minute to go, and the gap's seven tenths of a second. Jacob Wolf, uh, sorry, Charlie Wolford has got through past Joshua Griffin for fourth place. Still Denham leading in the championship and this race. You've got to say, what a race this has been for yeah, Cole yeah, Denham. Yeah. The pressure that this young man is under. Two laps to go, 35 seconds on the clock. The time will expire this time round. PF International and then they'll see the last lap board. What is the pace like for Friend through the first sector? He seems to be edging away from Ashcroft now. Wolford and Griffin are still there because they smell the potential chance of a podium here in the British Championships. Down the straight into hairpin one and it's, it's the tense thing, Anthony, of one snatch break, one mistake from Cole Denham, and he loses a British Car Championship that he can almost smell now. There's a huge send there from Jacob Ashcroft. Albie Friend does well to just hold out wide, keep second place. It's still the top three in the championship, one, two, three in this final. Yeah, I think there is some teamwork going on here because uh, Ashcroft saw that Friend was closing in at quite a rate and just sent it to the inside there. There was no contact between the two of them, but the it definitely slowed him down. It definitely scuppered the pace there for Albert Friend. And you saw the gesture uh, out of hairpin one, uh, hairpin two there just saying, right, here we go then. Final lap, the gap's three tenths of a second as they make their way under the literal bridge now for the final time. It's Cole Denham, it's Albert Friend, and it's Jacob Ashcroft. Jacob Ashcroft, again, I don't think it's gonna be there for him, but between Albert Friend and Cole Denham, it is, and oh dear, 
Albert Friend on my timing screen. Five second in race time penalty. That's it. The championship's done. He's got the lead of the race, but that's it. I don't even think he's seen that yet. But I think Cole Denham, oh, side by side between Denham and Friend. Now, that what Denham just needs to do here is sit on the rear bumper. Sit on the rear bumper of the 191, and you will be British car champion. Doesn't need to overtake here in the Minimax 950 final. What a season this has been, Anthony. And we still don't know how it's going to end. I don't know if Albert Friend knows he's got the in-race time penalty. Oh, my goodness me. Out of the corner. He'll win on track, but not on paper. It'll be Cole Denham. who They both celebrate across the line, but it will be Cole Denham who will be British champion in Minimax 950, double back-to-back -back British champion. He was champion in Honda Cadet last year, Carl Denham. He'll be champion this year. Again, all of this is provisional, of course, because that in-race five-second time penalty would put Albert Friend down all the way uh, to a uh, 10th place. 10th place, that would put him. And he would be out of the championship fight. They both celebrated across the line. Now, friend, I don't think he saw it. I think Cole Denham did see it. And, well, this is just, I, I don't know. I do not know. I mean, from our position here as commentators, we can see that there has been a five-second in-race yes. time penalty allocated to Albert Friend. And, and there has also been one to, to Jacob Ashcroft. Yeah. So this is a very <laughs> provisional result. There is Cole Denham as, uh, as champion. I can say without the penalties being applied, it would be 776 for Friends, 773 for Denham. Uh, but I say this result on your screen does not take into account the five second penalties that we have seen come up yes. on our monitor for Carts 191 and the E plate holder. Uh, all of the results, of course, you'll be able to look at at uh, your leisure on the British Kart uh, Championships website. Uh, but on the road, at least, Albert Friend came across the line first, Cole Denham second, Jacob Ashcroft third. Charlie Wolfett fourth. Great race, I've got to say, from mm. Charlie Wolfett. He was a big part of, of that final. Joshua Griffin fifth. Kai Clark sixth. Will Green seventh. Albie Lapper, Finley Lines, and Blair Smith tenth. And because it was so close in that race, I think with that five second penalty, as you said, Anthony, Friend would be relegated down to tenth place, which of course would not be enough for uh, the championship. Eleventh, Luca Holmes Ballot. Good drive again from Luca. Gained a lot of positions through the two races today after a difficult Saturday. Daniel Minto, 12th. Finley Hines, good drive there from Finley, up 12 places. Finished in 13th spot. John Richardson gained 4 to 14th. No, Barham won't be happy that with uh, how that season, or well, this season has finished in that final, was down 9 to 15th. Harry Freeman, Ryan Gandor, uh, Isaac Barker, Oliver Meek and Tom Reed all inside the top 20. Jack Collinson. Charlie King, Alex Goodson, Sebastian Lush, and Isabella Stansmore Wilson. Uh, with your finishes there down to 25th. One single retirement in that race. Ellis Bell with four laps to go. Well, that is an interesting one. I can see the comments lighting up here mm -hmm. saying, why was the penalty given out? What happened in the race? Again, from ourselves, we just got the notification ourselves into the comment box saying that it had been given we're not too sure. The official results will tell you uh, what happened uh, out there. But uh, like I can say, we just don't know uh, at this moment in time. But uh, provisionally, of course. But uh, there on your screen, Cole Denham uh, at the moment, champion uh, on your screen. But again, everything at the moment is just in flux. It, it is in flux. I don't think this takes anything away from a, a magical no, a brilliant season. race. I, I mean, what more can you ask for, especially in our position as neutrals in the box? Mm. A long, hard battle across the whole year goes down to the final race, to you know, the final lap. That that was a. It's been a tremendous Minimax 950, 950 season. I think all of these drivers, you know, those who've got those who've got t top ten plates this year, can be very proud uh, of their efforts throughout the course of 2023 and, uh, and yeah it's a, spe it's a special group of young drivers this and uh, I look forward to seeing the things they go on to next yeah, exactly and uh, again uh, more comments coming in but uh, again you just I mean seasons like this so close all the way throughout tension builds all the way throughout the championship and as it comes down to the uh, the last thing here 
you know, it just is what it is. But I think we are ready now to head down to Park Ferme. So we'll head down to Kieran Mogg, who's down there with our drivers. Now we are here with our professional second place on the podium, uh, Charlie Wolfit. That was an incredible race, an insane race. How was it from your point of view? Uh, yeah, it was really mad. Um, like everyone just kept trying to get the win. Um, came um, in fourth on the road, but got second because of a few in-race penalties. So really happy with that. And uh, I think we've now got a ticket to go to the Bahrain Grand Finals. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, that was amazing. Obviously, you had a, a good fight there with Cole Denham as well. Yeah. And uh, how was that for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, me and Cole had a plan that was going to push away because I went in the championship. I was fourth and I could only get fourth. So, uh, But he could win it, so I was going to push away with him. And then uh, Albert Friend, like, kind of tapped me and I dropped down back to fourth but it is what it is but Cole managed to win the championship. Uh, have you got anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank my mum, dad, Mike, Rob, Danny, Kayden McQueen, uh, Synergy, KR Racing Engines for the power, Louis from KR and everyone who supported me over the years. Excellent well congratulations again on, uh, on the championship and on the, uh, on the race. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, we've got here our third place, uh, Joshua Griffin, is that correct? Yeah. No, so you got your championship. Ah, sorry, uh, we've got no idea what's going on. Uh, Cole Denham. Yeah. Yes, excellent, okay. Uh, all right, so obviously we still don't really quite know what happened, so can you tell, talk us about the race from your point of view? Yeah, I had a good start. Uh, I, I led most of the race. And um, yeah, I had a good start, yeah, and it's just, ended up like everything it means everything to me and yeah yeah obviously you've, it's, uh, you've definitely earned obviously a long long championship and have you got any highlights uh yeah my highlight of the year is probably kart masters this year when i won the gp plate mm. uh i obviously won uh, round one of uh, at Kim Bolton and yeah that's been a fantastic and all the other rounds have been quite good and yeah uh, and yeah, it's ended up like this. So yeah, I can't thank anybody else. I just, yeah. yeah. Is there anyone specifically you'd like to thank at all? Uh, yeah, I'd love to thank Dan Holland Racing, Time Racing Engines, um, Aspire Sports, my mum, my dad, Kai, Matt, um, Dan, Sean, Ross, everyone in the team and everyone that's been helping me over the weekend and throughout the year. Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Amazing race, amazing championship. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and our last uh, podium finisher, um, which is ah, Joshua Griffin. That was uh, an insane race. How was it for you? Yeah, good. The finish was very good, considering the penalties. Mm. P3 is good overall. That's two in the year now, so yeah. happy with that. Excellent. And obviously, with everything kind of going on, how did you manage to well manage it? And you know, with your defending and attacking. Just defending the corners well, following my teammate. It just came out good, to be honest. Excellent. And uh, is anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, my mechanic Ian, my dad, my mum, uh, my brother, and Synergy. Excellent. Well, congratulations. Yeah, for the engines, sorry. Hey, oh. <laughs> Excellent. Well, congratulations again. Amazing race, amazing championship. Thank you. Thank you.
We now turn our attention to Minimax 950, uh, probably the closest championship going into this weekend. Uh, and again, it ended very, very brilliantly. Please welcome then onto the podium in third position for the Synergy Factory team after 16 laps of racing, the number 113, Joshua Griffin. <laughs> Joshua to collect his hat and to stand proudly on the number three spot. In second position also for the Synergy Factory team after 16 laps of racing, finishing 1.7 seconds behind the race leader at the end in the 195. Please welcome onto the podium, Charlie Wolfitt. <laughs> Big round of applause there for Charlie who collects his hat and stands on the second pole on this podium. And finally, your race winner and champion for the 2023 Minimax UK Championship for the Viratals British Cup Championship. Please welcome the 162 from Dan Holland Racing, Cole Denham! <laughs> well done, Cole. You will collect your Viratals cap, make your way onto the podium, and we do ask for third place to present the trophy to our winner on that one, Callum Eilot, who makes his way on there to present the trophy to Joshua Griffin. Uh, we welcome now Oliver Behrman onto the podium. If he's not too busy chatting with Caden McQueen, there we go, to present the second place trophy to our second place finisher, Charlie Wolfitt, and to Callum Eilock back onto the podium to present our winner's trophy to Cole Denham, who takes a fabulous win. To present the number one seed at the end of a brilliant championship, we welcome John Ryan back onto the podium to present the number one plate to our champion at the end of that one, Cole Denham. And once again, I always forget our winning mechanic. Another big round of applause, please, for Ian Denham onto the podium. <laughs> I always forget winning mechanic. There you go. Well done. Dan Parker will come onto the podium to uh, present the medal. And a brilliant uh, result. Get your photos in. And another huge congratulations to all of our competitors in Minimax 950. A brilliant season and a brilliant way to end the championship as well. Another huge round of applause, please, for your Minimax 950 finalists. <laughs> Again, Minimax drivers, do stick around. We've got tickets to give out. Do not go anywhere. Tickets to give out.